Hey everybody, Sneaky Narcotic, back at it again with another YouTube video. Today we are going to be playing some more Magic the Gathering in MTG Arena. And today I brought for you guys a very special deck. It is the Enter the Battlefield Tribal deck. Um, all brought to you by Yarok the Desecrated. So Yarok the Desecrated makes any Enter the Battlefield triggers double. And not just cards that say enter the battlefield, draw a card, but also cards that say something along the lines of whenever you have something enter the battlefield, do such and such. As you see with Dread Presence. This was the idea around the whole deck. So every single one of these, when it comes out, has a enter the battlefield trigger. Um, I really am keen on Elvish Rejuvenator triggering twice. That, that gives you so much ramp for 3 mana 1-1. One, one. Um, also the Gift of Paradise, gaining 6 life and still also gaining that ramp advantage. It's not as, oh, it's not as much as Elvish Rejuvenator, but it's gaining 6 life. That's really good. Now, um, before I go any further, I do want to mention I, I thought, I thought heavily about putting Spark Double in here. Um, but I was very 4-drop heavy. As you can see, I'm very 4-drop heavy as it is. Just to have another Yarok doesn't mean anything to me, so that's the reason I did not put Spark Double in here. Um, I have Fibble Thief to draw cards, Merfolk Trickster for a little bit of tempo, Dusk Legion Zealot, again to draw cards, basically Philib Philibethif, but lose one life as well, and that's not bad. Um, I think as you gain... you. You lose two life and draw two cards if Yarok is out on the battlefield, but I haven't really done that yet. Um, Elvish Rejuvenator to ramp, Gift of Paradise to gain life, Dread Presence to either draw or again gain life and deal some damage. Um, Ravenous Chupacabra very sickly destroys two creatures at the same time. That's pretty cool. Same thing with Hostage Taker exiling creatures both at the same time is pretty good. Um, Golgari Finebreaker finding two, uh, grabbing two target permanents. That's the other thing to think about Golgari uh, Finebreaker is that it grabs target permanents, not just creatures. So that's pretty good. Yarok, of course, the masterpiece here. Um, Agent of Treachery to gain control of two cre uh, two anything to target permanents is again pretty cool when you're um <laughs> when you're getting a multiple trigger especially for how much mana this freaking thing excuse me this freaking thing costs it's ridiculous the honest star masterpiece of this deck other than Yarok would be Command the Dread Horde and it was a last minute um, addition. And I only have a two of here, although I don't know if that's correct, to be fair. Um, I played one game so far with Command the Dreadhorde, and it it did well. I got back a Philibothif, I got back a Dusk Legion, I got back an Elvish Rejuvenator, I got back the freaking Yarok because the Yarok died, which is good. Uh, I can get Yarok, and then all these Enter the Battlefield triggers uh, start all over. Ravenous, Chupacabra, I think I got literally everything but the Hostage Taker, the Agent of Treachery, and the Dread Presence. All back from the graveyard. And of course, I could have recurred um, my opponent's stuff as well. I just didn't have enough life, and I didn't really want to. They didn't have, you know, into the Battlefield Triggers. And we're playing ETB Tribal, so we have to do it like that. But, anyways, guys, um, let us actually put the proper, yes, the proper background to my my card box here and get started with the game. Alright guys, here we are in a game. Um Temple of Mystery, Dread Presence, and Elvish Rejuvenator. I'm liking it so far. Uh Dusk Legion turn turn two. Eventually the thing is that I, I kinda I, I was kinda questioning Dread Presence. I wanted to play it because it's an M20 and it's the first time I've seen a 
uh, what's it called, landfall card in standard in a while. So I wanted to play it. Um, thought it would be fun. And kind of is. Kind of. Ooh, actually, that's really good. So we're going to keep that on top. That is all five mana plus the Elvish Rejuvenator mana. So yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. So we'll put the Swamp down. Put a Dusk Legion Zealot out. Now, they're playing red black. Um, I've been running into red and black recently a lot. And I hate the color combination because it always feels like they're going to be playing some type of Punisher burn. But they're not. Um, if I remember correctly, it's more like an aristocrat deck, if I, if I remember correctly. Um, and also a burn deck, which is what this one seems to be. Is that a ravenous chupacabra I see here? You're just happy to see me. Alright, so Elvish Rejuvenator into Yarok. Ugh, so many swamps. So little time. I'll attack one. So next turn we get Yark down. I imagine, yeah, he's gonna play... He's gonna waste his Revenant... Well, I guess it's not waste, per se. He has to play it. That's fine. Okay, so Yark comes down. And the good thing about this is that even if our Yark dies... Uh, we have enough mana to command the Dread Horde next turn, so we're doing fine. So yes, I imagine Yarrick is going to die with the way he keeps looking at it so intently. So go ahead, kill it. I don't need it anyways. Okay, he said no. He said no, I ain't gonna kill it. Why would I kill such a pretty thing? Okay. That's fine. So, we play. Let's play Dread Presence and then pass the turn. Um, we can command the Dread Horde and then put a Swamp down. And I think that'll honestly put us back on the board. Let's, uh, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 9. 10, 11, 12, 14 life that we'll lose, but we'll gain some, so I'm not too scared. And even better, we didn't have to do all that. So, yes, we command the Dread Horde here. Bring back all of these creatures. And he's not going to have a response. <laughs> Alright, so dealt, dealt two damage to ourselves. That's fine. Uh, yep, nope. There we go. A Scryland. I um, opened up a lot of packs and these Scrylands have been doing really good. Uh, that's some life gain, so I'll keep it. I believe. I believe I'll keep that. So draw it. And then draw it. Um, we are going to put a swamp down. Intercept. That is going to effectively deal two damage. And then deal two damage again. And then we're going to swing three at Angrath. And we're in a good standing. Okay, he didn't like the life gain. Whatever. Your Angrath is still dead. Goodbye. Yeah. A lot of times people will concede on a Command the Dread Horde, and that's totally fair, you know? Command the Dread Horde is such a powerful card. But yes, guys, that, that is a perfect example of how this deck should work. So let's try it again. I 
already here. Look at this Tetra guy. So dread presence. Not bad to see. Gift of Paradise for Libethev on two. I don't necessarily like seeing two for Libethev. So when we have three, I believe, in my deck. Um, in my opening hand. And I <laughs> just don't like it. But it's okay. We're going to do fine. All right. Well, we are getting swamps. That's for sure. Ooh, Merfolk Branchwalk. Oh, yeah, Branchwalk or Trickster. It's Merfolk Trickster. Wow, that is a lot of swamps. So I think we're going to go for a gift of paradise here. And swing for one with Philibethith. Philibethith. This is a new card to me. Ah, but it is a soaring deck nonetheless. So even if I lose one life here, I'm fine. I Alrighty there. Let's see. So we're going to put Dread Presence down. Dread Presence in turn will swamp. And we're going to deal two damage to your flyer. Yay for life. And no thanks. So he, at the beginning of your slip, if a player lost four more life this turn, put a plus one plus one counter on Knight of Ebon Legion. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to fall for it like I didn't. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I should have saw that. That's fine. That's totally fine. So... Intertapped. Golgari Fine Broker. Give my Dread Horde presence back for the next turn and no attack. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We can take his Acrobat for ourselves next turn. So yes, we're going to lose a lot of life. He's going to gain some life here. But we're going to get that card back. And that's all that matters. <laughs> wow. Alrighty then. Well, 6-7, go for it. <coughs> Excuse me. So we are going to pay to life to grab. No, darn it. Okay, shame concede. That's not what I meant. Blue cards confuse me. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I let that happen. Well, we're in another game. I'm going to mulligan this. Yeah, this is a very much stronger hand. Uh, keep six, 
Throw this seven drop on the bottom of our deck, just like so. And yeah, this looks like a okay start. And it's getting slightly better by not the minute. Good news, we're one t <laughs> one land away from getting another Yarok. Um, that's a land. Not the proper one, but that is a land. Temple of Mystery. Square one, I guess he liked his top pick. Okay, so... Dread Presence on turn four. Intertaps. Alright, what does that say? Okay. So, pay two life. We could Ravenous Chupacabra. I believe that's probably the best to do right now. Ravenous Chups. I can't, I can't, I can't imagine a standard without Ravenous Chupacabra, though. You know what I mean? It's a murder plus one. Hydroid Crisis. For one? Okay. <laughs> you can have your Hydroid Crisis. Oh, and just became a 3-3. Three -three. Well, that's not good. Um... I think we're going to pay two life here, and Yarok, and not give a crap, go, one, two, three, four, five, if we, depending on what we draw, we might draw something even better than a Ravenous Chupacabra again, next turn, but that's still not bad, yeah, he's about to beat me in the face for five, ugh, not five. Rabid Bite, are you kidding me? Okay. Well, I definitely should have Ravenous Chupa covered that. Oh, and a Command the Dread Horde. Well, maybe not. You got something for it? What, an Essence Capture or something? What do you have? A Disperse. Wow. Well, hit you for two. This is why I don't like people. It might seem weak, but if we draw a land, I might try to uh, command the Dreadhorde again. I like what he's doing, though. I actually haven't seen any other people playing him 20 cards <laughs> other than elementals. So. Okay, while well we drew land, we're going to attack into your buddy there. And that's exactly what we wanted. So thank you so much for playing into our trap. Greatly appreciated. Command the Dread Horde. Ooh, Incubation Druid. Yes. All of this. Yes. Yep. And we'll choose that target twice. You double dead. I double dead dead you. So, I'll have to spend mana to play. Okay, Bio Essence Hydra. Sure. Well, good thing we're going to do this anyways. Nope, that's not what I meant. So, we'll attack. Two attackers. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to blo block with the Dread Horde presence, it looks like. God, 
God, just one after another here. He's playing a Hydra deck. That's interesting. A Hydra, a Hydra Tribal. Oh my God, my buddy would be so happy right now watching this Hydra Tribal. All right. So there's that. Dead, dead, dead. Um, Philibethith. And... Dusk Legion Zealot. Not really anything else I can do right now. No. <laughs> Would have been nice. Would have been nice to not have my Yarg die over and over again. But, you know, sometimes... Sometimes a Yarg just has to die to win. You know? You know. Sure, swing with that. Adonis Klein. Okay. Well, that's great. So he doesn't need a flyer that can literally do anything they want. Ooh. Okay, yes, no. That's exactly all I want, is to waste my time with Calibethith. All three of my copies, for some reason, sitting together. Uh, doesn't matter. We'll keep the original. Okay. Well, let's cry for a good card here. That's not a good card. Yep. Keep the original. And probably shame concede, because that's the only thing I can think of right now. Alright, Temple of Mystery. We are going to literally have to scry... For a hostage taker, yep. That's worth it. Mm, no. You know that you could put a plus one plus one counter on your land and flip Hadana's climb, right? Yeah, there you go. And now I'm dead. Because he can fly. Because when the crazy bitches come knocking at your door, they can fucking fly. Ugh. Yeah, concede. I need protection, Yark. Why won't you give me protection? Alright. <laughs> let's, let's give it two more games, guys. Two more games. <laughs> wow <laughs> must be that late I'm going up against Japanese characters that's interesting well I'm going to keep it for the temple of mystery Okay, Temple of Mystery, scry one. What, you go on a scry? Not that card. Alright, so we're playing Boros, looks like. Let us pick a untap land. Untap land. Pay two life. Draw a card. Woo! Doing good. Doing good. Drawing cards. Doing good. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing a dread presence right now. Just for fun. Okay, so we're going to be playing a Boros Weenie deck, it looks like. Nothing wrong with putting your weenies on the board. Nothing wrong with that at all. 
We will gift a paradise. Uh, doesn't really matter. All those lands tap for multicolor. Mm, nah. No attacks. So, next turn. One, two, three, four, five. We can play a ravenous chupacabra. Yes. I will block that way. And he just wanted to draw the card. I get it. I do. He just wanted to draw a card. Well, looks like we're about to have to start playing actual cards. So, Ravenous Troops. Go for Mentor of the Meek. One, two, three, four, five. I am two turns away from uh, stealing something. I wouldn't have minded stealing the Mentor of the Meek, but I don't think that's the way to go. I think I should steal one of their bombs that they're holding in their hands. Excuse me, guys. It is so late, but I wanted to get this video out. You have four mana. What will you do with it? Five mana. What can you do with it? All right. So we are going to Gift of Paradise. Actually, my Swamp, because we can. So that's four mana right there. Gain three life. We're going to sit at 21 mana together and pass turn. So let's see, what are you going to put on the board for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana? 6 mana. Novice Knight, okay. Sure, 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 sure. Yep, Merfolk Trickster. When it comes down, I will tap your Novice Knight. Novice Knight tapped. And then block your little vampire. And now I'm winning. Unbreakable formation. Nice. Okay, Yarok. Yarok is a good card to see right before I can agent of treachery or something. So, we're going to scry one. Hopefully find something good on top here. Uh, I'm tempted to keep that ravenous chupacabra. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And... Sure, we'll attack. Why not? Hopefully he's not holding up a lightning strike plus shock. Uh, a shock plus anything. Except for another shock. That would be bad. All of that would be bad. Okay, so... Uh, ravenous Chupacabra. Triggering twice. It's you and you. Yay! Yay for triggering twice. And we shall swing. He does not have the mana for settle the wreckage, so there we go. And then, in turn. I'm keeping a swamp bag just in case we hit a dread presence off the top, which would also be sweet. This Japanese guy doesn't even know what hit him. Don't even know what hit him. I want to see the keyboard for that. Really do. You have six mana. Tell me you can do something, white weenies. Oh, excuse me, Boros weenies. Come on. Something. Anything. Anything but rope me. Come on.
The Immortal Phoenix. Well, yep, that's a card to steal. Uh, sure. Yep. Mm hmm. Next. So, we're going to steal something twice. Steal that. We can steal lands? Oh, that's bad. I never noticed that, guys. We can steal freaking lands. That's terrible. <laughs> oh, the bruise in my head right now. Steal all your lands in one turn. Just ramp myself up so hard. That would be sick. <laughs> Alright, planner cleansing. Immortal Phoenix goes back to your hand, of course. So, uh, I think it's safe to just go ahead and play the Swamp. It's kind of killing me not to. He's going to play the Immortal Phoenix. I'm going to play the Hostage Taker. He's probably not going to have Burn for it. And that's how that works. So, give to Paradise on anything. Draw, or, excuse me, gain some life. Then we hostage dagger. Six mana. Wow. Oh, well, if he kills it, he can bring it back. So come on, kill it. Kill it dead, dead, dead. Nope. Cool. Then I'm about to play it. Yeah, yep. Come on. Come on. Come on, big boy. You can do it. I don't even know what to call you. That's, that's the problem. I can't call you a Johnny. Um. So yeah, I'm Royal Phoenix. Cool. Merfolk and Truxtia. I don't know if now is the proper time to play it, but sure. Let's imagine that it was. Alright, down to 8. 29 to 8. Let's see what we can do here. Looks like he will be passing. Heard. We will Temple of Mystery. Find something, anything useful off top. Ah, Dusk Legion Zealot's almost useful. Almost. But no cigar. Why do you keep looking at it? Like Hostage Taker isn't something. Like Hostage Taker is new or something. I'm almost afraid to throw the Immortal Sun, uh, Immortal Sun, the Immortal Phoenix there because he could have some type of pump spell and just pump up his creature. I'm not sure, but he could. Why do you keep looking at the crap? Come on. There you go. You want to shock it? So you can play it. No, he's going to bring it back. That's interesting. It's a brought back Boros deck. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Cleansing Nova. Oh, that's good. Roll Phoenix goes back to your end. If I was to find the Golgari Finebreaker, it's not a bad card to have. Find me Yarok. Or Agent of Treachery. I don't know. Um, Yarok. Yeah. And for me to play the Yarok. And then pass the turn. So, a Dread Horde. A Command the Dread Horde would be sick right now. It really would. You 
keep looking at Yarok, and I appreciate it. I do. Yarok is sexy. But, I don't think he's your main idea right now. I think your main idea is putting creatures on the board to block my crap. Yes. Verily. Because we're both top deck heroes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine out of twenty-two. Fibble up fifth. Draw me some cards. Maybe this is how I get back in the game. Is it? Is it? No. Because why would I ever get back in the game with Fibble up fifth? Pass the turn. If you beat me in the face, you beat me in the face. I can't tell you how to live your life, but it will be fine to do it. Yep, go ahead. So I am not even chancing to settle the wreckage by throwing Yarok over there. Ah, oh, you're kidding. Dread presence. Should have saved that swamp. Should have saved the swamp. Could have drawed some cards. We'll see, though. You know, we'll see. So, throw everything but Yarok. Don't care if you exile those. Go right on ahead, bud. Go right on ahead. If he settles the wreckage... I'll, okay, I was about to say... If he settles the wreckage, I have two swamps that I can go grab and kill his phoenix. I have not, except for one basic swamp played. And then one, two, three, four. I believe I have full play sets of Watery Grave and Overgrown Tomb. I believe I do. So, Taya Verda, the... Shield Mage, you have Hexproof, so I can't hit him. That's fine. Okay, so... Agent of Treachery. Take your Taya. Take your Immortal Phoenix. Yay! All these things and more. So grab a shield. I need a shield. Then we're gonna. Ooh, not that card. Um, even if Yark gets exiled here, like I said, I have some swamps I can go and grab. I just need two. So if he settles the wreckage here, I'll grab all three and still win the game. He said no. He said no. Well, you don't have uh, anything on board to block this. Angel of Grace. Aha! That is a great card. Great card. Well, I am still at 20 life. You're still at 1. Let's count it again. One. So that better be a board clear in your hand or another angel of grace. Because you are screwed. Say it again. Screwed. Uh, he is at ten lands. I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes. Verily. Okay, well, you swung some. And again, expecting a settle the wreckage. Good game, yes. Yes, okay, awesome. The thing is, uh, I haven't seen settle the wreckage in a while. Like, I feel, I feel like people devalue that card nowadays. Um, I will play one last one, guys, just because I want you to get a full... Ooh, the Chandra Flame Fury. That's a pretty good card. Uh, but just so you guys get a full feel of the deck and how how powerful it can be. Um, now, of course, 
with any Yorok deck, any deck from cards that are ba uh, any decks that are based around a card from M20, do understand that there are works in progress. M20 just came out. Like, last weekend was, I guess, the actual standard, first standard uh, weekend with them, because it was draft weekend. So, um, just understand that I'm, I'm thinking of new brews, I'm thinking of new ways and deals, uh, and of course, I'm still working on getting... Ugh, still working on getting wild cards. Wild cards are a freaking nightmare. I'm telling you, man. I, I ran out of uncommon uh, freaking wild cards. I don't understand, you know? So, um, just bear with me. Uh, we'll, we'll get through this, you and I, together. So... Whew. Double fill with the thief. I don't like it, but I'll keep it. Uh, swamp. And gone. Goblin Banneret. I'll be. It's a Goblin Banneret. So here is a Fibble of Thumb. The hope is to get Dread Presence down first. When I get Dread Pe Presence down, um, I can keep a Swamp, hopefully. Nope. Alright, so Pay to Life. Elvish Rejuvenator. Elvish Rejuvenator grabs me a... Hmm. Let's just be real well-rounded here. Uh, and now nah, we ain't gonna really want to attack. Nah. Nah. Ooh, Krinko. Don't mind if we do. Alright, so that's five mana. Uh, and I doubt that the Goblin deck is going to be able to deal with Yarok. So this should be fun. Um, no. He revitalizes. He find something else to do here. Conclave, ah, Conclave Tribunal. I did think about putting Reclamation Sage in here. I just didn't think it'd work. So I didn't. Um, yeah, we'll fibble up this there. And yeah. So, do a scry. Don't need another land. Um, thank you. And Golgari Fine Broker. Grab a Fibble Lipithith. And nope, don't need to attack. Ugh, it's a Tetsuko deck. That's sick. Okay, you realize Krinko though. Krinko can die. Can't block anything else, but I can sure as hell. Oh. I didn't double block Krinko. I didn't think about it. Darn, that sucks. Okay. Well. Yep. Uh, that looks like it will do me. We're going to do a Dread Presence. We are going to... Um, yeah. We're going to pass. And then we're going to tap Tetsuko down. To survive another turn. Sure, Goblin Instigators. Pass to attacks, yeah. Be brave. Do you have a counter? You're in Jazz Guy. That's weird. What, uh, oh, I guess Tetsuko is your only blue card for real. Okay, so. We are going to double block here. And then definitely block here. And there we go. Yay for winning. Um, I probably should have blocked the other thing there. But whatever. We'll be fine. 
Oops. Yeah, oops. Okay, so... Yeah, there we go. Then, we gain three life. And we fill the lip with it. I don't think we're going to win at all, but, you know, play it out. And concede. Well, guys, that's going to do it. Um, that was a very powerful goblin deck. I appreciate that. Losing Yarok to that deck is crazy. Yes, I get the Conclave Tribunal and all that. Here, let's open up a pack for fun. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching this video. If you made it this far, please like, share, subscribe. Do all that usual YouTube stuff. And Skeeving Symmetry will see you out. <laughs> Um, but yes, thank y'all for watching. This is Sneaky Narcotic, signing off.